Hi everyone, it's Kieran here, just doing a live from Lake Louise. Uh, this is pretty special. And I know I say that quite a lot because we've been very fortunate to travel quite a bit lately, but honestly, I am in awe of this. It's pretty emotional to be here. Just have a look at this now. Just how cool is that? So the lake is currently frozen. Um, there have been some brave people walking out on the lake, which I'm not going to, uh, mainly because, <laughs> and if I can get this to show you, um, I don't know if you can see that hole there. Um, my leg just fell down <laughs> into that hole, <laughs> so I've already been in the snow. So I am certainly not brave enough to walk out on the ice, but um, we have seen some people brave the ice and walk out, and they didn't fall in, so it probably is safe, but yeah, I'm... Not that brave um but just to share with you now so that there is the fairmont chateau lake louise um that was where we were originally booked when this trip was first planned back in 2020 we went to be staying there um unfortunately that didn't happen for multiple reasons um but we have managed to make it here for the day just to kind of take a little look around and experience just how beautiful this is it is incredible um, I'm being very careful <laughs> where I stand because I do not want to go back in <laughs> the snow. Um, but here you can see now just complete full panoramic views everywhere you look. And again, just to show you those absolutely gorgeous mountains, like they are incredible. Now the mist is coming in over the mountains and it is forecast to rain at the moment. It's like spotting just a little bit. Um, so it's not that heavy and hopefully it's going to hold out for us long enough to kind of get a good couple of hours here exploring the area. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd share this with you. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now you can stay obviously in um, the, the Fairmont Lake Louise and there are a few other hotels as well, slightly further out throughout the kind of national park area here as well in Lake Louise. But that is the only hotel that is right on the kind of lake front. Um, so obviously you're given, obviously it depends on which room you get, you get the panoramic views um, of Lake Louise here, which again is gorgeous. One interesting thing as well, there is an avalanche warning in place. So I don't know if you can see kind of here, there has already been an avalanches of the snow kind of comes down and falling into the lake. Um, so they are saying obviously to be very careful about how far down you go and how far out you go and where you step and stand. Um, tantamount again to the fact that I've fallen into the snow twice already. Um, so again, just a reminder just how beautiful nature is, but also how uh, quick things can change. Now there is a thin ice warning. I don't know if you can see over there in the distance. I don't know if you can see them very well, but just kind of just in front of Lake Louise. There, there we go. I got them in. Um, there are people kind of stepping out onto the ice, um, just kind of in the front, where it's, I guess, a bit safer. And I guess people have compacted the snow on top of the ice, so it's a bit safer to stand in there. Um, Phil's heading over that way because he wants a photo of himself <laughs> stepping on the ice. Um, I don't know whether, again, after falling into the snow twice, I don't know whether I'm brave enough, but seeing all those people are on there, I may actually give it a go. Yeah, just thought I'd quickly share that with you. Okay, just look how gorgeous this is. I'm going to just quickly turn you around, actually, just to give you a better view. My hand is in the way, so I have to change hands. Over there, and give you a slightly better view now, where I know where I'm looking at. <laughs> just absolutely incredible. And this is not, like, the only place you get this view. We've taken an hour long drive from Banff to get here um, and we've just been surrounded by these gorgeous views. Now obviously everything is slowly starting to melt um, at the lower levels at least anyway so kind of streams are forming um, the rivers are forming kind of thing along the, the main road we've been driving on and some of this ice is starting to melt um, especially on the tops of buildings and things like that so obviously this is kind of the start of the main summer tourist season um, here in kind of Banff area. So things are kind of quiet now, so it's a nice time to visit. Um, a really nice time to visit is kind of more towards the end of the season, so August time. That's when salmon run is, so you've got a higher chance of seeing more wildlife then as well. Um, so we've been told we, it's, it's unlikely we'll see any kind of bears this time of the year. It's not impossible, just unlikely, um, because they are usually hibernating or just kind of keeping to their dens at the moment. And then obviously then towards the summer months when the salmon run kicks up, that'll be when you'll find the bears will kind of come out of their hibernation a bit more and a bit more down to the lower levels. Um, obviously trying to catch some of that salmon as it is doing the salmon run. But we've seen loads of birds at least anyway, but we haven't seen anything too exciting nature-wise yet, but we have been promised we should bump into some, especially kind of on Rocky Mountaineer in the next two days as we go through the actual Rockies as well. We've been promised we should hopefully see a bit more wildlife and a more variety to wildlife. I'm certainly not complaining with these views because they are incredible. 
Anyway, I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna try and find Phil and try not to fall in the snow as I head back. So there, that's that path that I've fallen into the snow twice. Um, so I'm gonna head back to the path, try and retrace my footsteps so I don't fall back in. Um, but other than that, guys, hope you're all well and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.